hi guys so today we are not anywhere else but my kitchen welcome welcome to my channel today you're welcome to my kitchen i would like to prepare something ugandan for you ugandan <laughs> you know you can you, how kenyans and other maybe other nationalities they prepare pancakes the the american kind of pancakes back in uganda we have our own way of preparing pancakes <laughs> i'm laughing because the very first time I heard of pancakes was from my housemate. She's called Diana. Diana, hi! Chemonge! <laughs> Chalangat! I know she's gonna watch this. She prepared the uh, pancakes. Of course, the American way. Back in Uganda, we have our own way of preparing pancakes. And we only need three ingredients. Bananas, uh, cassava flour, and cooking oil. So I'm gonna take you through the process. It's very simple, it's very easy, and then they are very, very tasty. So let me take you through and then I will I will show you how it comes out later. So guys, I'm putting the bananas in the in the cassava flour. I didn't get the small bananas, so I used the big bananas. Let's see how it turns out. So later on you have to mix the cassava flour with the bananas until they all get together you don't need to add water because it produces its own juice make sure the bananas are more than the flour I doubt any Kenyan will try this because they always find everything of ours weird. But uh, it's always tasty. The next, the next thing I want to, I don't know how I'm gonna order for it. I want uh, some of my friends to test uh, grasshoppers because every Kenyan I've talked to that we eat grasshoppers, they're always like grass what? It's called the senene for those ones who don't know. If I get a picture, I will insert it in the in the video. But we eat grasshoppers back in Uganda. You see now how it has come out. You squeeze each and every bit of the banana such so that you don't meet them as your eating or whatever. So you have to make sure you're squeezing it all out. Finish the kneading, is it kneading? Whatever the mixture of Kavaragara, uh, someone said Kavaragara. <laughs> anyway, what did I try to call it Kavaragara? But I used the bigger banana because I couldn't find uh, the smaller banana in Indiani. What were Diani? Tell me where you can find the small banana in Kenya. I couldn't find them. Anyway, I finished mixing, then I put it like a bowl on the chopping board, I flattened it, and now I have to make a shape. So I use, I'm using a container to make a shape normally. You will do this. You press hard to get the shape. Press again. Press again. Press again. Press again. Press again. And thank you to my Kenyan people. I've seen on the chat, you guys are watching me. My Kata people, what's up, what's up? I see you on the second on the list. Hey, Uganda, where are you? One shy in a in Jabbar in Melako. So afterwards, you do this to get the ones you cut out nicely. It 
I'm joking. Okay, those shoes were way better. Like, couldn't find them, but I had to do what I had to do. So you will have to follow me to the pan where I'm gonna put oil, and then uh, I'll boil out the fried beans. And <laughs> this must be funny, but yeah, this is not the context of Uganda. That's how we do it. So guys, uh, we heated the cooking oil, now I'm putting the pancakes in the cooking oil. Like how you prepare mandazi generally, but for us in Uganda we decided to name what one seven, we decided to name these things pancakes. <laughs> Made out of kamaragara, my Ugandan people understand what kamaragara means. In Kenya you can uh, call them the small the small bananas. I went to the market and already told me sweet, sweet bananas, something like that. But anyway, there you go. They'll boil until they are brown. Let me release the fire. They'll boil until they are brown. So guys, they already turned brown, so you have to turn them upside, upside down. And the other side also has to be the same as the one which we just turned. All brown, 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 brown. Golden brown. <laughs> ah, like I'm a chef. But anyway guys, these uh, pancakes were very, very tasty, and they, they're always tasty anyway. When we used to be in school, we used to love them so much. Ah, break time, this was the thing. You go with, I don't know how many shillings, you get so many and enjoy them. And we used to have neighbor, a neighbor at home who used to prepare them for the market. Whenever she, whenever it's market, they used to go to her place and buy. They used to be very, very tasty. So, it's something that we like back in Uganda. And whenever I used to travel, I used to buy them and travel with them. <laughs> you can imagine, that's the love I have for pancakes. So guys, they are all ready. I will uh, remove them to a plate or to anything that you wish to put them. Hey, let me remove them before they become black, my god. Let me just switch off this. What? Ooh, some of them are black, but anyway, it's fine. So guys, I managed to finish preparing my Ugandan pancakes and I have my Kenyan neighbor who is uh, a very good supporter and a very good neighbor. So I want her to test my pancakes, my Ugandan pancakes, and let me know how they are. Don't mind this side, this side, they got burnt. I want you to test this side. Okay, so pick okay. one yeah. and test. All right. She's purely Kenyan and purely Ugandan. Oh, it's hot, huh? Yeah, it is. I'm just from preparing it. I taste some bananas. Yeah. Yes, they are bananas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yummy. I love bananas. Put, uh -huh, bananas. I put uh, cassava flour. And I mix and I made a, this one mini. It's very soft. Mini so yummy, yeah. And it's very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. We don't want to take it with tea in the morning, so just a snack to snack during the day. So thank you for tasting my pancakes. I hope you like them. So yummy guys, yummy? so different from uh, our Kenyan pancakes. Oh, mm -hmm. I love this. Okay, mm 